¿Qué hay, muchachito? ¿Mi computadora no la has visto? Bueno. Vlogs are back, baby. Vlogs are back. Let me see. Ready, set, go for the start of the vlog. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Go. That's right, you saw it here first. The vlogs are officially back. I, um, there's a lot that's happened uh, since I last vlogged. Um, actually, the last time I vlogged, I remember saying, hey guys, vlogs are back, and then a small little thing called the pandemic hit, and uh, we were all locked away, we were all working from home, and uh, I started doing more value-driven videos like market updates, San Diego Market, what the real estate uh, was doing because of, uh, of everything going on in the world. But um, now the vlogs are officially back. I got a new camera, I got a smaller camera. Um, I remember the last time that I was doing the vlogs, there was like a big rig and there was a microphone and I was all mic'd up. Now it's like literally like a point and shoot camera with a onboard uh, mic and it just makes everything a lot easier, honestly, to just take anywhere and people don't get like, all freaked out of me walking into a store or walking up to them with a whole big uh, big rig on there. But anyways, uh, the vlogs are back and I'm super excited. There's a lot that's happened since I last uh, turned on the camera and turned it on myself. Um, I started a team, which I'm super excited about. Um, I have uh, right now just me and Peter, uh, which you guys will get to meet today at the open house, which today it's Saturday, we're holding two open houses. Uh, one of them is in North Park, the other one is in La Jolla, two different neighborhoods here in San Diego, but uh, but a lot of fun. I, it's been a while since I've done open houses. I just ordered new open house signs, and even those were back ordered with, you know, shortage of pretty much almost everything in the world. Those took a long time to, uh, to get here and to get made, but finally we have them here and I'm super pumped. I love doing open houses, going out there, meeting new people, uh, meeting the neighbors, and just really being in front of people and, and, and um, educating them on on the home buying process and at the same time at the home selling process because a lot of these buyers are out there uh, looking to buy but at the same time looking to sell so uh, but since the last vlog um, you know I got engaged uh, I had a baby uh, there's a lot that's happened like on my personal life and my business like I said I started a group which the whole point of me starting a group was honestly to work with with agents who are looking for the help who are looking for accountability who are looking to be part of something bigger than just writing as a solo agent and trust me I was a solo agent that's how I started my real estate career and if you saw my um, my video of my first six months in real estate it was nuts. I mean, I was going nowhere being as a solo agent, and if you haven't seen it, click up here. I'll post it up. Uh, it's a great video, and it tells how my story started when uh, it comes to real estate. And so, being a solo agent, sometimes it's really difficult. It's hard. Uh, it's hard to get up every morning to not not have someone to be, you know, reaching out to. Uh, when it comes to help with uh, anything real estate related because there's a lot that goes on when it comes to an agent some people think like oh it's so easy like I'll just be get my real estate license and become an agent make my own hours but honestly it's like you have to be very very strict with your schedule with your um, with your business with your time because if you have if you're aren't actively prospecting then your business will uh, will be doomed from the very beginning you have to be actively always prospecting always uh, looking to meet new people always holding open houses always uh, door knocking calling people um, like I said there's there, it's fun it's fun for me I love what I do I actually I really really love what I do and that's one of the reasons why when I started in real estate I my whole thing was uh, starting a team being able to uh, not only help out my clients, but kind of being like an octopus and having more people out there, my name out there, the whole team name out there, and at the same time helping uh, new agents grow their business. So um, currently, like I said, it's Peter Shelton, which you guys will meet right now on the team. It's me, 
And then I have another two that I'm interviewing this week that want to join the team. Honestly, Peter was a no-brainer. He is, has been in real estate since he was like 18 years old. He comes from uh, Vail, Colorado. And from a year, even a year ago, the dude was like hitting me up saying, hey, if you ever start a team, I want to join, I want to join, I want to join. So I said, first, first thing I did when I branched out on my own was, okay, I'm going to start a team. And that's the first person I, I, I hit up. And I literally, I texted him. I said, hey, you ready to join my team? He's like, absolutely. Let me know where to meet. Let's go. Let's get it. And right off the bat, he's uh, he has a lot of relationships and he knows a lot of people within San Diego um, and elsewhere as well. But he has a lot of relationships with uh, developers. And so right now we're actually dealing with a, a, a developer that uh, a deal that he brought on of a $30 million sellout. It's 12 units, new development. It's up north. And uh, I can't say too much because we haven't really signed anything. Uh, just right now we've been meeting and doing Zoom calls back and forth of kind of um, one, getting to know the project and two, uh, really uh, letting them know what we have to offer when it comes to new development, marketing um, and whatnot. So anyways, there's a lot that's involved in those type of deals. But I started a team, super pumped, super excited. Um, and I plan to do these vlogs more and more. Um, I, I really don't want to say I'm gonna be having like two or three a week because last time I said that it was like I busted out one and then that was it um, but I do plan on bringing these out hopefully once a week um, like I said it's a lot easier with this camera to record anyways we're heading right now to this open house where I'm meeting Peter first open house from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. second open house from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. on a Saturday so new agents out there Weekends, there's no such things as weekends off. At least not in your first two years, three years, until you have your business a little bit more established and until you start your own team and can offer a lot more, um, then you can start your own team and take a weekend off. But anyways, let's go. So I just got here and it's um, it's not really, uh, I know I had meant, said it was North Park. It's, it's kind of a part of North Park. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's right behind me. It's this one here. It's um. It's called Talmadge. Now, the cool thing about Talmadge is that it's a small, small little like um, area here that you get a lot of these like, um, you know, kind of older homes that have been flipped or have been renovated, whether exterior or interior or even both. Um, and Talmadge is, is very family friendly, um, very family oriented neighborhood, small homes, smaller homes. Um, with a lot of you know character when it comes to you know kind of old style you know hardwood floors but some of these hardwood floors are actually kept original which I'll show you the house right now I'm just gonna get my um, my open house sign set it out here look at that super excited I'm gonna set one up here I've already set up the other ones I've got like 20 of these things and these are the flags, which are pretty cool. Say compass on there. I should, you know what? I should like maybe make like custom flags. If you know me, I love everything custom. But I'll probably set it up right here so cars, so that way cars coming that way, they can uh, they can see the, the open house sign. So this is it right here. We just have to, it's vacant. So there's no one currently living in it, but we have to pop open the Lockbox, which you can only do with one of these, which is with your phone. Click on it. Yes. Oh, Bluetooth lockbox. Press the enter. Oh, have to press this one first. And then reads my face. And and it pops it open. There it is. There's the key. So let's grab that. I always knock, just never know. Some of these homes say they're vacant. This one doesn't seem like it's vacant. Hello? Open house? Hello? Yeah, this one doesn't seem like it's vacant. Hello? Pretty cool house though. See, hardwood floors. Tell me, these houses are like these homes were built back in like the 70s. And, um, ooh, that's cool. 
rocket ship. These houses were built back in like the 70s, so um, you get a lot of, um, like I said, this one's pretty cool. These houses were built in like the 70s, so you get a lot of, like I told you, the original hardwood floors. It looks like some of the stuff has been updated. Not everything. You could tell like this kitchen needs a little update. <laughs> um, but you could tell over here, for example, that the bathroom was updated. The floors. Seems like a lot of uh, musicians live in this house. You get guitars all over the property. But you can tell also like by the walls that this is kind of like the old style. Obviously the, um, you can see the closets, more old style. This home I believe was built in 1973 or 72. So pretty old, look. That needs to get updated for sure. And the thing with most of these properties also is that you don't have AC. So you, some of them do, you have a furnace, but um, for example, this one, your AC is right here, which kind of takes away from your window. But um, home like this here in Talmadge hasn't been fully flipped, which I believe if it was flipped, you could definitely uh, bring in a higher offer. But this one is listed right now for 934,000. So it's still under a million dollars. You get, uh, you can still get a property here in Talmadge. Uh, the lot is not very big. You don't get a big backyard, but you do get uh, two bedrooms, two baths, 1,300 or a little under 1,288 square feet. So um, the address is eight, six, I don't know what the address, I'll link it right here. I, can, I forgot the address, eight, six. Um, oh, here it is. It is four, six, three, two max drive in San Diego zip code is 92115, which is considered San Diego, but you're within the Talmadge area. So yeah, we're just waiting for Peter. He should be, he just called me right now. He said he's running a bit late. Maybe he had a long night last Friday. I don't know, he went out drinking, who knows? I'm joking, Peter's a good guy, he's professional. Oh, this is cool, watch this. They put uh, like a movie theater, and you get your war projector come down, your speakers, that's pretty cool. See another guitar here. If anyone knows about guitars, I don't know if this is a good one, but it seems like it's it's a Peerless since 1970. So you have a 1970 guitar in a 1972 home. <gasps> Gotta mean something. I, hopefully that stays with the with the sale of the house. Full asking. Do you guys take cash? Yo, <laughs> Yo what up, dude? Look at you looking sharp. Yeah, man. man. I like the sunglasses. You like those? Yeah, they're dope. Appreciate dude. it, dude. I got these made for me in Italy. No. Pets Not that I'm aware of. Um, like I said, I can definitely find out okay. um, from the listing agent. Okay. Yeah. How was the uh, water pressure? Good. Yeah. That yeah, was good. It's also in the 50s? It was built in the 50s? 70s. Uh, 70s. Oh, 70s. Oh, 70s. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll double check right now, but yeah, I believe it was built in 1972? Mm -hmm. 1939. 1939. Okay. I was way off. <laughs> I have another open house coming up after this one that was built in 1972. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that in this neighborhood? No, it's in La Jolla. Oh, okay. La Jolla, yeah. But this one, I mean, just the, the kind of the floor plan, it flows really well. Yeah, it does. Back it does. then, I mean, they probably did some change back then, like in the 30s. They built everything, like walls everywhere. Like, great. Everyone yeah. was like compartmentalized. Like it was like the kitchen, it was like inside a room. Yeah. Dining area, well, You've seen some room. like great space or great houses, but then you get inside and yeah. it's like, what is, they built in like mazes. It's wild. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it makes like, no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. Like here, you can open yeah. up the kitchen well. if you wanted to. So you can tear it yeah. down. And... It's true. You guys are currently renting month to month? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not ideal. Yeah, his parents are physicians in LA and they're looking to invest in property in San Diego. Got it. So he's, in, he's a resident at Scripps. Um, um cool. good. Okay. Right here. She, I got her pricing. I think everything's good. She didn't email back. Or... Yeah, it's definitely a good area. Yeah. San Diego right now. It's, I don't want home prices are going up, mm -hmm. but they're still like, compared to like LA and like San Francisco, they're yeah. relatively cheap. Yeah. yeah, San Diego is such a desirable place to be. You know, like, I don't see that changing anytime soon. It's become like, it's always been desirable, but it's like, I feel like not a lot of people knew about it. Right. I mean, no one else 
Um, they thought it was like a sleepy town. Like it was like, they thought it was a sleepy town, I guess. Mm -hmm. But now with like the restaurant scene, Mm -hmm. like blowing up bars, like new different like areas. I mean, it was, it's funny because I I traveled elsewhere, like, and they always tell me, oh, San Diego, oh yeah, San Diego Zoo. I'm like, there's more than this. Yeah, it's not just the zoo. Yeah, there's so much more than this. I grew up in LA and only came down for Legoland and the zoo. Exactly. I lived in San Diego (laughs) prior to like four months ago. Yeah, I lived in LA for a little bit. Anyway, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Perfect. Let's write an offer, right? Today. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. You're, you're going to be here in 30 days. <laughs> YouTube. I put it on the YouTube, dude. That's awesome. Hey, YouTube, meet uh, Peter. Peter Shelton. It's a new, uh, new dude on the team. Hey, how how's it going? How long have you been in real estate, dude? I've been in real estate for 12 years. Shit. Tell us your story. Where are you from? Uh, born in Vail, Colorado. Moved out to San Diego eight years ago. Uh, started my real estate career in Vail uh, for Gateway Land and Development, and uh, that's where I got my start. That's with, dope, uh, dude. Yeah, with developers, and came out here because uh, who, who wants to uh, who wants to be by the ocean? Everyone. Yeah. So <laughs> that's dope, man. Welcome to the team. First open house. How are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We got great weather. Yeah, even today. after last night. I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it wasn't so hot. Yeah, I know. What is it, 90 degrees today? Yeah, shit. Welcome to San Diego in the winter. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. You don't get weather like this out in Vail. No. No, you don't. It's actually snowing in Vail right now. Really? Yeah. Is it? The mountain's open. That's sick, dude. All right, Peter and I are going to go grab lunch and then head on over to the um, to the next open house. Let's go. Let's see you at the next one. Just got to our second open house in La Jolla. This is 86 or 8699, no, 8966 Cliff Ridge Avenue in La Jolla. There's a four bedroom, three bath, just went on the market, $2.2 million. And I'm here with uh, Peter, again, second property that we're doing the um, open house. Focus, where, where can I see? There we go, there you are. And uh, we're crushing out here. We're doing things. This property just got fully renovated. Super nice. So uh, I'll give you a tour right now. Let's go. So that was it guys, that was the open house for today. You got to meet Peter. You got to see an amazing property here. Um, It's close to 5 p.m. now. We were, uh, this morning we were at the first one. That was 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then this one right behind me, we did um, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I love, honestly, I love doing open houses. If you've seen any of my vlogs, I enjoy this so much because one, 
Um, I get to meet uh, new people, I get to meet the neighbors, I get to see different homes, I get to uh, get to know the, uh, the neighborhood just because, you know, when neighbors come in, uh, they talk about the neighborhood. Um, and so I enjoy it very much. I think it's one of the, um, the perks of this job. And, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing them till, till I, forever. So uh, anyways, what do you guys think of Peter? Let me know. Comment below. He's the new team member. Uh, I think he, he's awesome. He crushed it, this open house. There's a lot of people uh, or a lot of new agents that get scared when it comes to open houses, like doing them and talking to people and they're they're scared and shy and don't know what to say but with peter he uh he crushed it today and uh i know he's gonna do very very well in real estate oh he's coming in now what up what up he's the uh he's picking up the signs crushing it crushing it anyways thanks for uh tuning in to another vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one peace